every time there's a new release, everybody jumps on the bandwagon and they want the latest and greatest. But what about the makeup products that are really good that we've forgotten about that may be in the back of our drawers? That's what this video is going to talk about is the hidden gems at the drugstore that we might already have, but they're so good and I can't wait to share them. Hi my friends, today's hidden gems at the drugstore video is a series that I've been doing for quite a while. I love doing this because it's not necessarily about going out and buying new things. I just shop through my stash and find the very best of what has been there for a long, long time. So you might not have some of these, you might have some, and you can start pulling them back out and re-loving them again. I also want to tell you that there's a timestamp right here where that actual video video where we'll start with all of the products because my intro does include me showing my top, my jewelry, and a bunch of other stuff, and it can take a little bit long. So go to that timestamp if you want to skip over all of this stuff in the intro. All right, first of all, in the intro, I always love to show you my shirt, and this shirt is so cute this time. I found this on Amazon, and I thought, how fun and how summery. It's got this kind of a chiffon feel to it, big, blousey. It's actually got almost like a three-quarter sleeve. You can pull it down to a full sleeve if you want, but it ends up being a three-quarter sleeve on me throughout the day. I just think this is all kinds of fun, and I love off-the-shoulder blouses anyway. And there are some several prints if you want to go take a look at those. I also want to show you my earrings. These are a very lightweight hoop. This is a resin earring and I absolutely love these. These are in the pink modeled color or has a bunch of colors in it. So it goes really well with the top because the top has the pink, the white, and the green in it. And then it has the gold accent on it. And to kind of pick up the gold accent today, I did wear a bangle and I really like this bangle. It's so much fun. I love the kind of geometric design on that. And of course, my fingernail polish, my rings, and any makeup that I'm wearing that I don't show in this video will be listed and linked below for you. And speaking of links, I always like to tell you that right here is going to pop up a number. And right now it's going to be the number three. So when I show the number three product I'm talking about today, I will hold up that product and it will correspond to this number three. You don't have to remember the name of this product or even the color that I'm using. You just open up the description box, go down in there, go to number three. The product will be listed there along with the link and any color that I am using will be listed there as well. All right, let's get into all of the goodies that I dug out of my drawers to find what are some absolutely wonderful hidden gems at the drugstore. Let's do this. All right, first of all, you're probably wondering what I'm wearing for foundation. I get so many questions on the makeup I'm wearing and everything. So I did as much of this video in the makeup that I'm showing you today. So first of all, let's talk about the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. This has um, all kinds of age-defying yummy ingredients in it and it has an SPF in it and I can't see that. I think it says 50 plus and I love this. I think this is such a better foundation than the It CC Cream. I love that it covers everything for me. It gives me a beautiful glow but at the same time it really does give that protection and the longer you wear it the more beneficial it is for your skin. So I really like that and like I said it is what I'm wearing for foundation today. This foundation is so so easy to wear. It never gets orange on me. They have a ton of cool colors, neutral colors, warm colors, and I will list what I'm wearing for my summer color, which is a tan color, a more tan color because I'm tan, and then also what I wear in the winter time because that is a very fair color. So I'll make sure I list both of, both of those below. And this is a fairly long wearing foundation. It is about, I would say, anywhere between 8 to 12 hours. I mean, I've got it to last as long as 14 hours before I wash it off, but it's really a good one. And like I said, I love it so much more than the It's CC Cream. Now, what I'm wearing on my eyes today is one of these two palettes. These are the 18 pan palettes from e.l.f. And you can tell mine are just so loved. <laughs> this is the Earth and Ocean 18 pan one right here. And then this one right here is the New Classics. I love the new classic so much because 
I got bored with the same old browns that were super warm. It's fun to have all these different colors in here that you can um, mix around. And today I am going to show you a little snippet on here of how I was doing my eyes because I know you're always asking me how I do my eyes. But basically I took this, this color right here, which is the saddle brown with the lightest white color or beige color. I mixed them together for my transition color. Then I went over here into this color right here, which is more of it's kind of um i want to say it's a mauvey brown color almost i really like that and that was to deepen my outer v and then i took this green right here which is kind of a really muted green and then this kind of celery green right here together and put it across my eyelids with this color right here kind of closer to the inner corner I love these. They are such a good formula. I really love the mattes. I think the mattes are the standout for me as far as what is in this palette. I do like the shimmers. They really are pretty, but when you get into that matte formula that's so silky and so easy to blend, that's what really stands out for me. And then in the earth and ocean, you get those pops of color that I love to wear. I love wearing blue. I know that it's outdated for most people, but I really like wearing it and I I like wearing it in my bottom lash line and I like wearing it just as a little bit of a pop across my eyelids at times and it has these beautiful earthy greens over here as well I being cool I kind of skip over the you know the little bit warmer colors there's a couple in here but as far as the palette goes as a whole what a great value and what a great formula I just love those and then I'm also wearing today one that I completely forgot about <laughs> and I have not had this palette out in such a long time this is from essence the pure nude highlighter palette now some of you have have the just the pure nude highlighter in the pan and that is absolutely gorgeous because it doesn't show up any texture it is very light on your skin it's just a beautiful highlight that it looks like you're glowing from within these are every bit the same as that formula maybe a little bit softer because i've always felt like that formula was a little bit more hard baked than most formulas and they these are gorgeous i actually just swirl my uh, brush into the middle of them and then i'll go ahead and apply them and i just love them i think that they did a really great job on the colors themselves right up here on the colors themselves but they're really that glowing look to your skin no glitter no you know super high beam unless you want it to be i kind of high beamed it up today but unless you want it to be super high beam it's not and at ten dollars this palette is an absolute steal when some of these highlighters are running between 30 and 50 dollars i want to say um have you seen essence anyway i think that is just a really beautiful palette that i've loved for such a long time this one right here is kind of an old school let's throw it back this is pond's cold cream now the reason that i wanted to revisit this is a couple of things I remember my mother using this all the time, my grandma using it all the time. And I just thought the other day, I actually saw it online and I thought the other day, I wonder if that is still as good as it ever was. And I can tell you absolutely 100%, this is as good as it ever was at taking off makeup like a dream. This is fantastic. Now, the one thing I will say is this is pretty highly fragranced and that's kind of, you know, a little bit of a bummer, but I don't mind this too much because you're wiping it off right away. So that is a really thick one. It's just beautiful as far as how quickly it takes off the makeup and you are just done in just seconds and it's off. And I really have been enjoying this. The one thing that I do like about it is I don't feel like I have to do a double cleanse because it does leave your skin just a tiny bit hydrated, but it wipes off to where you feel like your skin is very squeaky clean, I feel like. So I wanted to revisit with this with you guys and tell you that if you can't afford some of these new cleansers that have so many claims that this is still every bit as good, the OG Pond's Cold Cream, and it will give you the nostalgia feeling of sitting with your grandma or your mom and watching them take off their makeup. Just love that. All right, for another highlighter today, I chose to put in here the Koki Cream Highlighters. These get so overlooked. Now, I do know that Koki, um, they are only sold either 
at the Rite Aid stores and I don't have a Rite Aid around me or Amazon. So when I'm talking about drugstore, I'm kind of talking about a price point when I talk about Koki, but I love this. Oh my gosh. If you love cream products, you've got to pick one of these up because they are just silk. They feel so good on my skin. And as you're rubbing them in, you can see how beautiful and beaming that is. Again, you can go really light handed and just have a little bit, or you can go ham and get that disco ball look if you want to. These are amazing. Now I know that they have four colors. They have the gold and then this one is the rose and then they have kind of the um, light whiter champagne color and then they have more of a bronze color and these are amazing and I highly recommend that you try them out. I feel like they are definitely a hidden gem. People don't ever talk about them that I hear. I really like them a lot. Also when we're talking about Koki, let's just talk about what I have on my lips. I wanted to share with you these liners from Koki. I don't ever hear anybody talking about them. I feel like Koki is not talked about a lot because it's not super available when you just walk into your neighborhood Walmart or Walgreens, but these are beautiful. These are creamy in texture and yet they last a very long time. So what I did today is I outlined my lips in the purple, I think it's called perpetual purple, plum purple it's called. So it's really beautiful. It's kind of that wine purple color. These are automatic. On the bottom, there is a sharpener if you like that but i love these because of how creamy they were so what i did was i outlined with the perpetual purple and then the rosy pink is what i put in the middle and then i just put a gloss over top of them and they're really beautiful but they feel matte going on and so if you don't like that matte feeling, you're going to want to put some sort of a gloss or a balm on top of them. I also like to put a gloss or a balm on top. It kind of seems to mix them together when you're doing liners together. But this is such a great formula and they have tons of colors and I have been so impressed by those. Another one that I got in my drawer and I'm like, ooh, I forgot about that. This used to be my very favorite contour such a long time ago it's the nyx sweet cheeks matte blush but i use this for a contour this is taupe i use it for contour because it's that beautiful muddy great color that just looks like a shadow this is a gorgeous eyeshadow it's a gorgeous contour i actually use it not just for my contour a little bit of bronzing in there with it but i think it's so pretty i absolutely love this creamy creamy texture any of these that you get in the matte formula i'm not crazy about the shimmer formula but the matte formula of these is really saturated it lasts a very long time i used to use this every single day to do my contour and i completely forgot about it this was actually a fairly new one but i've been using it a lot lately and i love how it just carves out the cheekbones and just really love the formula on that one and i had completely spaced that off now this isn't forgotten on my channel but I don't hear a lot of people talking about these. These are the LA Girl Ultimate Eyeliners and these come in a ton of colors. And today I have on my bottom line right here, I have on this teal color right here, love it. These are so creamy when you first put them on, but they will set down and they will be super long wearing on your eyes. Now in your waterline, I don't feel like these are going to be the ultimate long wear, but they really are very beautiful eyeliners and you can smudge them out or you can build them up. And so I have the teal and then I have the purple and I think I said this in the last one and then I forgot. I want to go get some more of these because they're so pretty. I'd love to have a brown in this. And the formula can be so e easily smudged, but once they set up, they're going to set up and they're going to be there. See, it's already starting to set up and I had a hard time even smudging them. Okay, these blushes, the maxi blushes from Rimmel. I don't hear anybody ever talk about these. I talk about them on my channel because I love them so much, but I don't hear other people talk about them. I had two of the colors and I decided to go get the other two that I didn't have. So I originally had this one, which is called Third Base, and it has been my color and I've just used it a ton. Well, it's a little bit light while I'm doing my self tanning. So I thought I would pull out the other one I had, which is this one called Rendezvous. And Rendezvous 
Rendezvous is this beautiful plum, but I wanted something that was just a little bit brighter, even though I love that plum color on there. So pretty. So I did buy the other one that is more of a nude color that I thought was really pretty. You could wear it with any of your nudes. And I think that, and this one is called Sweet Cheeks. So this one is kind of more along the lines of your apricot, your peach color. So pretty for light skin as well. And then this is the one that I have on today that I'm in love with. And this one is called Wild Card. It's a bright pink and I just think it's so pretty. And I fell in love with it immediately because it is that bright, pretty pink that everybody can wear. So you've got a gamut of colors here. I wish they would come out with more colors because I feel like people would pick these up and use them more if they did. They're so pretty. I thought I would just maybe pop a little bit more on. This is a, a brush that I got from Do Care in a set of brushes that is really good that I can link for you below. But um, this is pretty intense, so I don't know if I want to go too ham with it. But it is a really pretty blush that will brighten up anybody's look. And I just think it's just, it's lovely. It's a beautiful blush that will really brighten up your complexion. And any of these blushes really are just gorgeous. And I have loved them for a long time. So those are the maxi blushes from Rimmel. All right, the next one, one of you subscribers told me about. And I was like, why have I never noticed that this was a tubing mascara? This is from L'Oreal and they do have it in a waterproof however this is the washable formula but i did try the waterproof one and i couldn't find it to bring it over here today both of them come off just like tubing mascaras do which is you know you get them wet with a little bit of water and they just come off of your eyelashes instead of being um you know something that's stuck on there that you have to really work at getting off but what's really cool about this is you have a primer on one end and then you have the actual mascara on the other end. And I'm going to show you right now a couple of pictures where you're going to see just the primer on me on one, one eye and then just the mascara on one eye so you can see how well it does. But they're the natural bristle brush. They're not anything, you know, crazy, no hourglass, no anything, just a regular brush with a little bit of taper on the end. I really like this. Thank you for showing it to me, whichever one of you were the ones that talked about it. Yeah, I was really pleased with this and pleased with the waterproof version as well because we're sweating right now so much in the summer. So this is a really good one. The last thing I want to talk to you about is something that I've talked about ad nauseum on my channel and i had run out and i was trying to use up a bunch of other stuff and i went back and i got this the other day at walmart and i was like why did i ever leave you <laughs> it's so good l'oreal l5 8 second wonder water this makes my hair beyond soft and it doesn't weigh it down i'm finding that in the summer right now my hair is just having a time because everything feels like it's just drooping and you know the humidity and everything but this doesn't weigh it down and by the time you're done you know just rinsing it through your hair at 10 seconds or whatever your hair is conditioned and it feels great and I love this stuff. I have talked about it over and over again. Now, I did try the Garnier one and because another um, YouTuber was talking about it and she was saying how much she liked it, but she had longer hair and it really weighed my hair down. So I don't really like the Garnier water one, but this one... This one is a good one and your hair will be so soft that you will just be astounded by it. It really is wonderful. And that is all the hidden gems at the drugstore. I hope that you did enjoy this. Please give this video a thumbs up. Right here on the screen, I'm going to put up another video right here and I'll put up another video of hidden treasures at the drugstore so that you can go explore some more of the items that I feel like are so good, but they get lost in the shuffle of all the newness. So take care of yourselves. I love you very much. And and we will all meet back here in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.